guys. Um, I'm so sorry about my voice. I don't know what happened. I lost it for some reason. I'm kind of, I think I'm getting over the fret flu because I was at my boyfriend and best friend's college for a while. Um, they both got it and now, and then I got it. So I'm getting over it, but I'm fine. My voice is just gone. So I'm really sorry if for the remainder of this video, your ears are bleeding, but today is move-in day. If you're subscribed, you probably watched last year's move-in vlog. That was my freshman year. Um, this is my sophomore year move-in vlog. I'm moving back into the dorms um, because Santa Clara requires you to live in the dorms two years instead of one. I am moving into a different dorm this time. Um, a nicer one so you guys will get to see that if you're new here and you didn't see that vlog um, my name is Jordan I make videos about college stuff and also celiac disease so if you're interested in that um, subscribe if you like but yeah so yesterday my dad and I flew in um, really early in the morning so that we could get a van to rent to put all my stuff in because I have a lot of stuff um, so my dad and I got the van and then we had a lot of time to kill before my mom and brother flew in because he had school. Um, so my dad and I did a little thrifting. We went to, I think, seven, seven different thrift stores looking for a coffee table. So my roommate and I um, want to have a coffee table in the middle of the room. So yeah, we went to seven different ones. We went to like a million different Goodwills, we went to St. Vincent de Paul, um, all of those. and. Barely any of them had any furniture. None of the Goodwills had any furniture, which I was very confused by, because back home in Arizona, all of the Goodwills I've been to have so much furniture. Um, but anyways, on our last stop, we went to Habitat for Humanity, and we found a coffee table. It was so hidden away. I didn't even look at it, because, well, it had a price tag of $300, and my dad and I were like, that's, there's no way we're paying $300 for a coffee table. And then a worker walked by, and he was like, we'll, we'll give it to you for 50 bucks. It's been here for a while. Okay, like, we'll take it, I guess. Um, yeah, it was really pretty. It was kind of like an iron color. It would have looked gorgeous in any other space. Um, but the colors just weren't right for our dorm. So my dad and I went to Home Depot, and we got some spray paint to uh, paint it. We painted the top a really beautiful almond color and he painted the legs like a, a hammered antique gold color. It's so pretty, it looks so good now. I'll show it to you guys in the space. After we picked up my mom and brother, we just drove back to my grandma's house, which is where all my stuff was stored over the summer. Because she lives about an hour away from campus. Um, and we loaded up the van, um, built a few things, because last year we tried to build things in the dorm and it was very difficult so we pulled things at my grandma's house this time and um yeah spent the night and now we are on the road to move in day so when i moved out of the dorm last year last quarter i guess um we had a little u-haul thing and um i was a little bit embarrassed by that because nobody else had like a u-haul or anything like that but i own a lot of things um so this year we decided to get a van to rent to just um, to take all my stuff in because I thought that would be less embarrassing than a U-Haul but it turns out that this freaking van has the super loud backup beeping noise like the big trucks do and I'm so embarrassed because we're gonna have to back up in front of the dorm to unload all my things and I, I just know there's gonna be people that are like this girl really brought a whole moving van for a dorm and yes i did but i'm i didn't know it was gonna have a beeping noise like that i'm uh, ah, i'm so embarrassed but i'll show you guys when it's happening and you can laugh at me like everybody else will be but yeah ah, i'm so mad why didn't they tell us that before we went to the van mm. it is eight o'clock my moving time is 8 30. the map says we're gonna get there at 8 45 which is fine um, I just wanted to get there before my roommate so that I could do a little empty dorm tour for you guys. So, yeah, I think that's when I'll see you next is when we're in the dorm. So, see you then.
don't know if you guys can hear that. That was my van backing up. Oh my god. Okay, I'm right over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, I'm in Jordan. Let's open it. Sorry. I'm just gonna, yeah, let me film this really quick. Is that empty? Oh, it feels weird being in here. After like planning it for a while, you know? If you can see me, hold on, let me fix my, my everything. This is the move and day fit. Little unitard from Target. Boom. Um, yeah, so we're just moving in still. It's taking forever because I have so much stuff. And my roommate's not here yet, but she'll be here soon. Don't know when that is. Um, but yeah, I have too many things. So we're going to keep going. Tiny bit to the left. A little bit. I think that's good, right? Um. All of our energy so we are taking a break to go eat lunch at pizza and tikka in santana row super good um if you go to santa clara it's kind of like a fun special thing to go to santana row because it is a little bit more expensive and far away but they have good restaurants and shops here so yeah all right so it is now 4 30. Um, my parents left to go back to my grandma's house so I'm here by myself. I've just been like working on stuff. I've been working on this bookshelf. I think it's coming together pretty well. I don't know what to put in that basket yet. I'll probably have something I need to put in there. But this is still a mess. And all of my clothes are on the coffee table. But we're coming along. I hung this up. It's got my jewelry on it. If you remember from last year's dorm tour and vlog or whatever that it was up there too and then I've got this little like shell with my everyday jewelry in it I'm gonna get some silk tulips to go in there to have like a little thing this is on top of my fridge by the way um, I'm watching Game of Thrones if you watch Game of Thrones you know how like dark it gets and like I have both windows fully open so I can barely see what's going on but whatever um, I'm working on my desk I got my lamp plugged in 
Um, just working on things, working on the bar cart. Oh, I did this. Um, I built this thing for all of my skincare. It spins. Well, it's supposed to spin. Um, but yeah, got all my skincare on there, which is cool. And then um, my roommate has an identical one that she's gonna put there, I think. Um, I have no idea where to put my towels yet. There's barely any like room in this one. I think we're gonna get like drawer things to put in here um, so that there's more storage. I don't know yet. Um, yeah, still trying to figure that out. There's like no space. The view is so pretty behind me. I don't know if you can see it from here. It's so pretty. We've got trees out there. And um, one of them is like turning fall colors. So freaking pretty. We're on the top floor, which is cool. Um, but yeah, here's an overview of my room right now. I guess our room. Uh, my roommate is not back yet, so I will see you when she gets back, probably. Okay, hi guys. This is my roommate. Hi. This is Emma. Um, she got here a little bit ago. We've just been like working on stuff, so I'll show you the progress now. My side, again, haven't been doing much. I've been like focusing on the closet over here. I'm like working on hanging things up. I'm gonna switch the shoe rack in the bin down here. I'll see how that goes. And this is, I'm inside of the room. We're working on it. But yeah, and then we're like working on the um, bar cart. Thank you. All right, guys. So it is, it's 7.20 right now. Um, Emma is gone. Um, she and her mom went to Target to grab some things, so. I'm just chilling in the room. I thought I'd talk a little bit about um, why I'm in Graham and I'm not in Dunn again. Um, the reason has to do with celiac disease um, because I have accommodations in place um, with the OAE for um, not having communal bathrooms this time. So. I'm sorry, the windows are open and I don't want to close them. Um, but basically, when I get gluten, I am expelling things from both ends. And it's really, really frustrating to do that in a communal bathroom where there's everyone's around, like you can see underneath the stalls and stuff like that. So I'm really glad that I have a private bathroom this time in case I do get gluten. I'm not planning on it, but you never know. So. I think it's called the accommodation is called limited shared bathroom, I think. But yeah, I'm really, I'm so happy to be in Graham. It's so nice. But yeah, no, I'm just working on a few things before I either pass out or we go out tonight. I don't know which is happening. I'd rather pass out and like watch Game of Thrones or something. Oh, that sounds nice. I might actually do that. Mm, okay. This is my closet. I'm still working on it. It is so dark. I'm sorry. Oh my god, there's a light here. Okay, well, ignore that. But I've got my shoes there, my boots up here, and heels on the other side. And then I've got all my clothes on here. My roommate let me borrow these um, hanger things that like fold down to save space. And then I've got my, um, my robe on here. And then I put a bin up there with stuff that I don't need, like, ever. And then um, my suitcase is there and my bedding is there. I'm gonna hang up my purses, I think, on this door. I'm like holding these open with my feet because they slam closed if you're not um, holding them, which is super fun when you're in the closet and they hit you in the back of the head. This is all clothes that I need to hang up. I ran out of hangers, so my roommate and her mom went to Target and I asked them if they could grab me some hangers. But yeah, I've got some hats up there on the um, on the bed. I think I might hang them on here. I don't know yet. I don't know where else I would hang them because I feel like it's already pretty busy over here. So I don't know yet, but yeah, that's where the room is. Hi guys, um, today is Sunday, it's 12.49. I am going to lunch with my parents today. But I worked all last night and I just wanted to show you like an overview in the daylight of what the room looks like right now. My closet still isn't done. Um, 
because I need hangers. I don't have enough hangers. But the rest of the room is, so I'm gonna show you. All right, so here's like the main overview. I've got my bed, some, um, I'm gonna get art prints to go in there. Those are just construction paper right now in the basic colors to like see. Um, I've got my desk, my fridge, bookshelf, mirror, food cart, and bar cart. Um, oh, and then the coffee table with the little card game on it. Um, this is the bar cart, it's so cute. Um, yeah, I thrifted this checkerboard, shot glass checkerboard a while ago when I thrifted these. And now it finally gets to go into our cart. And this is the food cart. I have no food. <laughs> this is my mirror. It's my outfit. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the mirror there because it's so like backlit, um, but we'll see. This is stuff I need to hang. Um, this is my bookshelf. And this is my little fridge area. All my makeup is right there. So I can do it here, or there's a tiny mirror back there, or there's a mirror here, so. Um, but then I've got, I thrifted this little shell bowl for my jewelry. This is a worry crystal stone, I don't know, salt lamp. And this is gonna be for flowers. And then I've got my jewelry up there all on top of the fridge and then my desk. Oh, it just got so dark outside. It's so beautiful outside right now. It's like overcast and windy. So pretty. That's why I'm dressed like it's October, though, even though it's like, what month is it? September? This is cold outside. But yeah, I'm going to my slippers. My bed. And I've got my five minute journal. My Nook Kindle thing with my books on it. Um, but yeah, that's the room. That's the rug. We've got some pillows to sit on. This coffee table is super low. Like, it comes up to, like, maybe mid-calf. But it's perfect if you're sitting at it um, and, like, doing work on it or doing a board game or whatever. But yeah, that's um, the room so far. Alright guys, so it is, um, I think it's almost 11 and I'm back in my dorm. I wanted to talk to you guys before my first class, but I wasn't able to because my roommate was still sleeping, um, but that's fine. I went to my first class, um, which was like a theater humanities course, super fun, super chill, um, but yeah, it was great. I, um, I was really thinking about how different it felt going to my first class my sophomore year versus my freshman year. Cause I was just like so much more chill this year. Um, like last year, my first class was a chemistry class. And I remember being so stressed out about what I was wearing and like what everybody else was wearing. Just like stressing about everything and not paying attention to what the professor was saying at all. Um, but this time it was chill. I was like engaged in like what he was saying. He's so nice, oh my God. He's so chill, um, so I'm excited about that. But yeah, now I'm back in the dorm. I need to run a few errands. I need to Uber to Staples to get stuff for Rush for my sorority that I'm in. But yeah, I am so happy with my dorm. It's so cute. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the move-in vlog. Um, it was a little bit stressful because I have so much stuff. But it was also fun. My family helped me and I really appreciated that. So my room is like pretty much done now. Um, the only thing is my closet's not done because I have way more closet space this year. So I'm hanging more things and I ran out of hangers. So once I get more hangers, um, my closet will be done. I'm gonna post this video after I get everything all together so I can film like a dorm tour portion of it. Um, so you guys don't have to wait for a separate video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will probably be doing more videos soon. I'll put, I'm gonna do another like day in the life at Santa Clara, sophomore edition. Um, but I'll probably do other videos. Just let me know what you want to see, like having to do with celiac disease, because I'm probably gonna do another like how to eat gluten free at Santa Clara, because it's very hard to do that here. And um, I just want anyone who may be thinking about going here to be prepared 
that it's hard to be gluten free. Yeah, just let me know which videos you want to watch. And also, please keep coming up to me. So many people have come up to me on campus and asked me if I'm like that girl from YouTube. Like, please keep coming up to me. I love it. Especially if you're a freshman this year and you um, watch my videos to um, see if you wanted to go here or just like see what it's like. I have so many comments about that. So if you see me, come say hi. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Just let me know what you want to see. Um, yeah, and if you like me, you should subscribe. Just saying. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I will see you soon. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.